morning, everyone. Hi, everyone. Good morning. You see how much less scary than Sam I am. And so they've all, see how they've all joined me, Sam, at the front. It's my warm, welcoming presence. However, I'm not as, as loud as Sam, so I do need the, the microphone. So welcome, everyone. My name is Graham Rickey, and I'm a trustee at IRS. And I'm here today really just to welcome you and to hope that you have a, a marvelous day with IRS. Um, the, the plan for the, the day is to be thinking about change and innovation and, and what that means, and to be learning together from each other about what that means. Um, in my day job, I specialize in sustaining charities primarily or non-profit organizations. Um, so as you can be fairly busy, that's, we would like that, wouldn't we, if we could sustain ourselves. Um, and if there's anything that I've learned so far, and I'm really looking forward to learning with you today, and I'll come back at the end and try and sum up what we've all been learning together. Um, but there's maybe three things, and the first is acceptance that change happens. And that's probably a good thing, because we can all think of what we would like to change. Other people, probably. Wouldn't it be nice if other people just changed, everything would be fine. Um, it can also be a little bit scary, because um, if we're thinking, well, change is, it is inevitable, change happens, we need to be fairly confident in knowing, well, what works, actually. Because from that will come, and something that I think is important throughout the day, we're going to be talking about change, I imagine, will be excited and positive as we go throughout the day, but also being really clear on what's the crown jewels? What won't change? What needs to be sustained based on knowing what, what works? So you'll see from the, hopefully you've all signed up for your workshops. If you haven't already, then um, obviously before you go to them, sign up sheets over here. Um, our workshops and our guest speakers today are going to be talking about change, and I think probably the short one word takeaway would be collaboration. Um, it would be easier if other people changed. If we're going to do that, it's easier if we're in the room with them. Um, I'm being facetious, hopefully you can tell. <laughs> um, we're all part of that change. Um, so our workshops and our speakers are going to be learning uh, what they've learned and what we can learn together about this gap that occurs, this gap that appears between policy and practice between strategy or planning, theory and implementation, or knowing and doing. We think we know something, but until we actually do it, we don't at all. And, and we have gaps in those areas. We're really delighted we've got some guests joining us today from Canada. And so for those of you who are based here in Scotland today, I hope it's an opportunity to see ourselves through other people's eyes because it's, although we have frustrations and things can be difficult here, one of the things we do have in Scotland is a relatively accessible, relatively progressive policy environment. Um, and so although there can be implementation gaps and there can be uh, gaps between knowing and doing, I think we're maybe a lot closer to that than we sometimes feel. So we've got the opportunity today to be reflecting on all of those things and what you know about change and innovation and collaboration and what we can learn together. So in, in that spirit, have a marvelous day. One of the things that I always need when it comes to changing and improving is people that inspire me, people that introduce me to new ideas and to new people. And one of those over the years has always been our Chief Executive, Iris D. Fraser, who's going to let me say a few more words about how you can be involved in change throughout the day. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely day.